Julian Bond talking with the people he represents in the Georgia legislature has come a long way from the Julian Bond who fought for civil rights in Mississippi in 1964. In Mississippi this year, since 19, beginning of 1964, there have been five Negroes killed by white people. One Negro in Natchez, two Negroes in Natchez, beaten by members of the Ku Klux Klan. We've had crosses burned in front of our office in Greenwood. There have been cross burnings all across the state, indications we hear are that the Ku Klux Klan is reorganizing in Mississippi, and there's always a subdued violence in that state. There are always Negroes being locked up for nothing. There are always Negroes who are beaten for, for little or nothing, and we don't hear about half of the things that go on there. The worse a place is, the, just the more careful you are, but you can't really be afraid because you don't know what you're afraid of. You can't expect that every white man you see is going to shoot you or that every policeman is going to lock you up or that every car that passes yours is going to shoot yours and if you adopt an attitude that everything is going to happen then you might reduce yourself to such a state of nervous tension that you wouldn't be able to operate but you have to expect things you have to realize that in some parts of the south white people are willing and eager to kill negroes to stop them from doing simple things like registering to vote so you have to be careful but you can't allow yourself to become paralyzed with fear Julian Bond's constituents, by and large, are underprivileged Americans. There is no question that their needs are great, but until Bond, they had no voice. In this neighborhood, you can see it's very poor. The average income here is $2,500 a year. Uh, people are living below the poverty level, and they need the sorts of things that poor people live in most of America's big cities. They have inadequate housing, inadequate uh, schooling, inadequate services from the city, the county, and the state and I'm interested in anything that's going to improve their condition, particularly in minimum wage legislation and workman's compensation, those sorts of things. At the 1968 Democratic Convention, Julian Bond became a national figure. He nominated Eugene McCarthy for president. All over the world, people want to be free to speak, to move about, free to protest, free to be heard, free to live honorable lives, and most of all, free to participate in the politics which affect their lives. That is the freedom we seek tonight through the Democratic Party in 1968. Don't tell us we're going to get that freedom through the policies of the past. The American people have rejected those policies. Don't tell us we're going to get that freedom from the leaders of the past, because those leaders don't even understand what we're talking about. But for me and for millions of Democrats and independents, millions of young people and black people and poor people, there's one candidate who will tell it all. That man is Gene McCarthy. In 1968, the 28-year-old Bond was nominated for the vice presidency. He was, however, seven years too young to qualify. In 1976, Julian Bond will be qualified. 